Hey you guys, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I am back in Philly. So here I am in my car. <laughs> and it actually just started to, just, and I clearly can't talk today either. Um, was a long night <laughs> flying back from Vegas and I didn't have a lot of sleep. So I'm just kind of like, uh, but I wanted to show up to stay consistent. Um, but it just started snowing here too, which I love when it snows and I would show you guys, but it's like barely flurrying. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to the question of the day. So the question today was that this person struggles with finding the niche community that I can impact. So let me know in the comments right now, if you guys maybe have an idea of a product or a service and you're struggling to really think about who you want to offer it to. Don't worry because I have your answer in this video that hopefully can give you some guidance on who you can start offering your products and services to. So if you're watching now, watching the replay, say hey, drop a GIF, let me know you're watching. And if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns about this live stream, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you don't have concerns, but I just said that because it just like kind of rolled off my tongue and then I was like, that doesn't really make sense. So anyways, okay, let's get to the question. Finding the niche community that I can impact. So when you think about, we need to take a step back before we think about this question. So a lot of times when people start an online business, what they do is they think of the product that they want to create first. Okay. They spend all of this time getting their perfect logo, making the perfect product, building the perfect website, doing all of this back end work, right? Before they even know who they're serving it to. They're just like making this product, a couple products, maybe they have 10, 20, one, doesn't really matter. They spend all this time and energy getting trademarks, registered trademarks, the logo trademarked, like wondering what their brand colors are, creating their own brand color for their business, like getting all of these custom fonts made. You guys get my drift. So the thing is, is that they start with the perfect product and then they make the perfect website and then they go and try to find, then they're kind of like, wait, where are these people at? Like, <laughs> who's going to buy my product, right? When in reality, we need to work the other way, okay? So what I mean by that is, is that we already know the journey that, hey, Tammy, how are you? Sorry, I just saw your comment. Um, so we already know the journey that we've been on which is our own story. So where we are right now, we came across this journey to get us to this expert level of whatever we decide to become an expert in. So for example, my story is that when I was in college, I was swimming um, division one in college. I was a really elite swimmer at Olympic trials cuts. And my best friend on training trip in my senior year, told me to download Pinterest. And I was like, uh, I don't need another social media account. Like this is like going to waste my time. Like I was already double majoring in apparel merchandising and business. I was an elite swimmer. I already had like so much homework. I didn't have any more time to really be a person, let alone download another social media account, but they were all like on the rave with it. So I was like, all right, I will download this. We'll see how it goes. Downloaded Pinterest. And as I was, you know, on my journey with Pinterest, I was like getting more followers by, you know, communicating with people, engaging online. That's when I started to learn techniques on how to grow my following organically by engagement on platforms. So then when I got to around 20,000 followers, I asked myself, I was like, you know, I see people are making money online. How can I make money online? So what did I do? I went to Google, Google University. People are like, how did you learn how to do this? I was like, not in college, I learned it off of Google. So went to Google, typed in, how do bloggers make money? Long story short, found, found affiliate marketing, started applying it to my pins, and now that's how I make a good chunk of my income, is through Pinterest and affiliate marketing. So as I was going along this journey, I had a lot of people who wanted that passive income, time, freedom, work from home type situation. So therefore my journey allowed me to find my people. Does that make sense? When you go along your journey, your ideal client is going to be a representation of yourself because you want 
there's no one else that knows your story better than you. And there's no other story that you know better than your ideal client's story. So in a nutshell, when the question is, how do I find the the niche community that I can impact? It's people that are exactly like you. And you know the people that are like you because once you start telling your story and start growing your own personal brand, they're gonna be attracted to you because they have the same story as you, right? They went through the same struggles. They had the same fears. They have the same, you know, you're just kind of like two steps ahead of them, if that makes sense. So they're on the journey. You just already went through the journey and you're gonna give them a shortcut to success because you have the answer that they are looking for. So tying it back to what I was saying in the beginning of this video is that a lot of people do it the opposite way. So they'll make a product because they love it. They'll make the website because they love it. They'll make the, you know, the perfect logo, the, the trademarks, all the, all the jazz you don't really need. That's why you hear a lot of successful entrepreneurs that are like, I don't even have a website. Like, I don't even have a logo. Like my logo is literally just like Times New Roman with my name on it, right? And you hear that a lot because their intention isn't about like the glitz and the glam and like, oh, I'm starting this business today because I know I'm gonna be a seven figure entrepreneur tomorrow. They just followed what their passion was and their passion is to help other people that used to be where they were, but they have the answer that those people are looking for. So they literally, start talking about themselves. It's kind of like the live stream that I did yesterday when I was talking about, um, you know, how to start posting without fearing about what other people are going to think. The people that say stuff about your content are not your ideal clients. The people that like comment on things that mean things, you know, always have an opinion. They are not your ideal clients, right? But the people that are, are people that are waiting for you to show up because you already went on the journey that they want to, you know, start, or maybe they need help on Maybe they're at a roadblock and they need somebody that's already at the end point to guide them along their journey. So when you find, you don't need to find anything. You are, I always say that you are your own niche, right? So Finding the niche community that you can impact, the one that you're gonna impact the most is simply just by being yourself. And you have your own journey, you have your own story, you already know what, and this is like also saying if you are already an expert. So if you're just kind of like hopping on the online business trend just because it's literally that, just trendy, you are gonna have more difficult time because you don't have experience. That's just point blank. That's, I mean, uh, that's my opinion, and I don't know if you guys agree with that, let me know in the comments. But it this journey is harder if you don't have experience because you quite literally don't have anything to talk about. But if you already embarked on your journey, and I'm not saying you need to be like Oprah Winfrey expert level, like Tony Robbins, like have to have like all the answers to everything like under your belt. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that you would have already have embarked on I would say like a two year journey. But if it want, if you wanna make it six months, if you wanna make it a year, if you already learned something in that amount of time, that's completely okay. So you are just helping people that want to take the same journey that you've already taken. If this is making sense, let me know in the comments. And if you guys have, if you guys have any questions, also let me know in the comments. I'm gonna wrap this up quick. So, Tying it back to the question, finding the niche community that I can impact. You are your own niche. You have your own experience and you have your story, which has allowed you to become an expert in what you're currently teaching. Therefore, there are people just like you, know, like, and trust, right? That's what they're looking for with you. So yes, there's a thousands of business coaches, but no one is a business coach like you because you have your own story. My story is not the same as yours, right? So your ideal clients find you when you're vulnerable enough to share your story. So you're not finding anything. Your community finds you when you have the courage to show up. And how do you find the right people? You become authentic and vulnerable and tell your real story because you know what makes it really hard is when you fake it till you make it and you pretend that you have like 
luxury everything like all of the riches and the jets and the lambos and this this and that xyz one two three and then you're going to attract those people but then you're going to real you're going to have an internal struggle because you're going to realize that that's not you and then it's going to be really hard because you're like why is this so hard why am i attracting these types of people it's because you're not coming across as your authentic self um Adolph says, yeah, hey, Steph, how are you? I just called you Stephanie, your name's Stephanie, so I hope you go by Steph. <laughs> Adolph says, LOL, I passed my two-year mark. Yay, awesome. Hi, Emily. Mark says, love the car rants. Yep, I'm back. <laughs> I'm running on, like, low fuel right now, not in my car, like, energy-wise, so if I'm coming across as that, I already apologize. I just wanted to show up to stay consistent. So... I'm just, I already wrapped it up, but if you guys are just hopping on now, go watch the replay and let me know what you guys think because like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, there's nothing, and I kind of said it the whole video, there's nothing to find. You're not finding people to follow you. You're not finding traffic. You're not finding content, right? Everything is given to you when you ask your ideal clients for it. So even your story, you have your story and when you share it with people, people are going to relate to you and then they're going to tell you what they need from you, right? So if you're looking for things, if you're continuously like looking for the answer, like why is this so hard? Why is this? Why is that? It's because you're really literally making it way too hard for yourself. And we do that a lot as creative entrepreneurs. We always think that we need to have the answer for everything when that's not true. The answer is already literally on our lap. We just have to allow ourselves to receive the answer. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys have, I must just like whip myself with my sweatshirt, which is great. Um, get to turn the music back on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday and I will chat with you guys later. Bye guys.